Hey you guys, what's up? It's your girl Tash and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought we would finally jump into some of the Kosas makeup that was sent my way, as well as the Viseart palette that I just purchased. Um, generally, I have nothing but, you know, affordable makeup on my channel. However, I do still enjoy all makeup, whether it's high-end makeup, luxury makeup, drugstore makeup, dollar makeup. I'm a lover of all things beauty. So I hope that you clicked on today's video and you're curious about some of these products. Even if you don't purchase high-end makeup yourself, it's still fun to watch the products be put to use and see if they're actually worth the money. So if you're curious to see how these products perform, then girlfriend, just keep watching. Right, you guys so I have already primed my face my eyes done my eyebrows that whole shebang the product that I'm gonna go in with first is the Viseart palette and this palette I did purchase myself it is called the spritz palette and it's just this little guy right here it is so adorable um, it comes with 12 shades in it total and you guys this packaging is to die for so it comes in this little package right here and it says Viseart on the back says spritz edit right here and then you have this little pull tab that you open there is a mirror on this side and then here are all of your shades now I know what you're thinking Tosh Viseart is hella expensive however Viseart has done this thing now where they have these edit palettes and what they're doing is they're trying to bring this luxury formula and make it more affordable for the average everyday consumer like me and you so I picked this one up. I'm actually getting ready to pick up their Paris edit as well because I saw Emily Noel raving about that and it's really, really gorgeous. But today, y'all, we're going to play with this one. So as I said, my eyes are already primed. I'm probably not going to talk while I'm using this palette. All of the shades that I use will be down below. And at the end of the video, I will tell you guys how you can afford these products. So yeah, just stay tuned till the end of the video. So the next product we're going to go into is by Kosas. Now again, I have mentioned that Kosas did send me a full face of products. So, so they sent over their tinted face oil in two shades. They sent me over 5.5 and then they sent me over tone 6. So if you're a shade twinsy, you'll be able to see I will swatch both of these on the side of my face for you before we get into it. So I just want to let you know these are tinted face oils. They are not tinted moisturizers or um, BB cream, CC creams or anything like that. It is a tinted face oil so you will get to see how those apply to the skin. So this is makeup that meets skincare. It says a featherweight light to medium coverage foundation and deeply hydrating skin elixir. Shake well before every use. Gently blend two to four drops into skin using fingertips. So I will try to use my fingertips today. I just want to let you guys know this is not a first impression. I have been playing with these products because they are high-end items. I do want to give you a full-on review. So again, stay tuned to the end. And again, I will let you guys know how you could get these products in your home a little bit more affordable.
So, we're going to go ahead and start off with the eyeshadow palette by Vizzy Art. So, first things first, I love the packaging of this. This is very soft and it just feels luxurious. It really does. I love just the whole idea behind how they did the packaging, how you kind of lift the little pull tab. You have your nice mirror here. And then I forgot to mention earlier, it also comes with this little plastic piece that you can just set over the shadows. It stays there very well and it keeps your mirror from getting dirty, especially if you're somebody that travels and things like that. I like to carry a makeup bag with me, so I mean, if I have a palette this small, I would carry it with me, possibly, but then again, it's like, I don't know, because shadows like this, you really don't need to apply throughout the day because they're so long wearing like <laughs> the first thing I want to say about the shadows is they are hella pigmented so you don't need very much product which you know for the money $39 for a palette like this you know that's how the shadows should be they're very smooth and creamy and the only thing that I will suggest is of course do your eyeshadow before doing the rest of your face because like other high-end shadows or most shadows there is fallout um but I really don't have anything negative to say about this palette you guys it's gorgeous and I think it is so awesome how Viseart has now made these made their formula where you know the average everyday consumer could purchase one of these um, now, the only difference between these um, smaller palettes like this is that the pans are a bit smaller, but you're still getting a ton of product, again, because you don't need a lot when you're working with these. They blend really, really well. They don't blend away. Again, they're long wearing. This is the third or fourth time I've played with this palette. So again, it's not a first impression. It's just... I can't wait to purchase the Paris palette. Now, am I telling you guys that you need to run right out and get it? Absolutely not. I think that there are other palettes that you could um, dupe for this. Maybe not getting all the shades. Um, the Aurora palette by Alter Ego is one that to me has similar shades. Um, there's also a few more palettes I haven't reviewed on my channel yet but they are coming up, so maybe I'll do a dupes video. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see that. Um, but I mean, if you are somebody who can afford to go out and buy this, I think, hell yeah, try it. Um, if you don't like it, you can send it back, I believe. I will leave that information down in the description box for you guys on the return policy. I do want to give a shout out to Kosas. Thank you guys so, so much for sending me all of these products. You guys are amazing. For a higher end brand to send a micro influencer products, that speaks very highly of them to me because I've had a lot of smaller brands <laughs> shoot me down and I promote their products like crazy because I love them. So thank you again to Kosas, you guys rock. So I want to get into the first product which is their tinted face oil. I like these. Um, they did send me shades 5.5 as well as uh, 6. 5.5 is a medium with olive undertones and 6 is tan with olive undertones. And I just think that 6 fits me better. So this one I'm probably going to pass on to my mom. I think she might be able to get away with this one. Um, it's a great formula. It's really nice. Now on the back of the packaging, as I read to you guys before I applied the product, it does say to apply 2-4 to four drops onto the skin and use your fingertips. Personally, I've used this several times. How I like to apply this tinted face oil is I like to apply it to my face or to my brush and then I like to either stipple and swipe or just one or the other. That's how I find I get the most coverage and I can use less product. Now, I do use more than two to four shades. Basically, by doing that, you're just building your coverage. As you guys can see, it does not give full coverage. It does not claim to. It claims to give you a light to medium coverage. So I think this is perfect for people who are on the go a lot and you want that no makeup makeup look. It just sets beautifully on the skin. You can either wear it and not set it or you can set it. 
I highly, highly recommend this for people that have dry skin. It just sits so beautifully on the skin. And to me, a light to medium coverage, it's all you need. Even if you have scarring like I do, girl, embrace your flaws. You are beautiful. Um, Price-wise, I think it is worth it, honestly, I do. Because a product like this, you're getting a full ounce of product and you don't need a ton. You can always go in and spot conceal um, and things like that. So if you are interested in trying out their tinted face oil, I am affiliated with them now. So I will leave you all of your information down in the description box of how you can save some money off of this. Alright guys, moving on to the next product that I have been using non-stop since getting. This is the Kosa's wet lip oil gloss and mine is in jellyfish oh my gosh you guys this is the best lip oil i've ever used it doesn't feel like just a lip oil it feels a little bit thicker but not like a sticky gloss it's just very moisturizing my lips were super chapped the first time i used this and over the course of a few hours my lips were ready for kissing and all that so if you're looking for a good lip gloss i'd say definitely check this out so in my opinion this gloss is pretty long wearing for a lip oil i was very very surprised at how long this stayed on my lips through drinking and vaping and kissing on nick <laughs> it's pretty long wearing so i highly recommend this i can't say enough good things about it the next product that I want to talk to you guys about is their lipstick, and this is the Weightless Lip Color, and this is just really, really, really pretty. You can either have a sheer wash of color, like so, or you can build it up just a little bit to get a little more opacity, so you could, like, essentially take this from day to night. Um, it's just really comfortable on the lips, and for a lip color lipstick however you want to say it it is pretty long wearing like you can kiss your partner it is not kiss proof so I just want to show you guys that but it still is on the lips and I feel like when this fades it fades what's the word I'm looking for it fades beautifully I feel like it doesn't like leave patchiness on your lips it's not gonna go you know, and then just leave you like with a ring or anything. It just kind of looks like a little bit of a lip tint left over. Um, so yeah, you don't have to reapply very often throughout the day. I would say if you eat something, you would definitely have to reapply this. The other thing that I love about it is it's magnetic. So ladies, if you toss this in your purse, it's not just going to fly open like a lot of the cheaper lipsticks do. Um, this one is in the shade Undone. And you get a 18 month shelf life out of this. I think it's beautiful. I'm definitely going to check out some more of their lipsticks. The next product that I want to talk to you guys about. I did not use uh, this product or the next one in the video. This is the Kosa Sport Lip Balm. This is really nice too. This has hyaluronic acid in it. And oops, sorry. It is tinted. And it just kind of looks like this like long oval. I do like this, especially, there's the lip tint here, um, for those days where I just don't feel like putting on any makeup, or I'm going to put on maybe a little bit of the oil, this, and some mascara, and out the door. So I do really enjoy this product. This is the Kosa Sport Lip Balm. I feel like it really has a good amount of wear time throughout the day, but again, it's a lip balm, so you are going to be probably reapplying this throughout the day. I love that it has that little bit of tint. It's kind of like daytime, nighttime, you know, daytime for the lip balm, nighttime for the lipstick. And it just looks really, really beautiful on the lips. And it's so lightweight, but yet so moisturizing. So great product, Kosas. The next one that I did not use in the video today because I did test out the Visi Art Palette is the Kosas 10 Second Eyeshadow. So you guys let me know down in the comments if you do want to see this. Um, I've seen these used before and they look absolutely gorgeous. So I just haven't tested it out on myself yet. So the next product is their concealer. Now this is a newer product and this is the Kosas revealer super creamy and brightening concealer i have mine in tone 5.5 the only thing there's two things the only two things that i don't like about this is that it's very yellow 
um, which is probably for the brightening, you know, factors in it and whatnot, but it's a little too yellow for me. If it would have been just a little more neutral, this would have been perfect. Um, it's very creamy. It covers dark circles well, I feel like, and I don't feel like it's drying on my under eye. It's not too thick or anything. I just, that little bit of too yellow for me because I do like to bring my concealer down here as I do have like scarring and stuff like that. The other thing is, is I don't feel like I love this paired with the face oil. I like other concealers with the face oil. This I have tested out with other foundations and I do like it. Um, I don't know why. I just don't like it with the face oil. I feel like maybe because the face oil is so thin and this is super creamy that maybe it's too thick for me on my under eyes. I think that's a personal preference because some people really do like this with the face oil. So um, I have a lot of, how do I say that, I, dryness down here and I'm starting to get those wrinkles. So I just feel like using this with the lip oil for me personally just kind of emphasizes that because I do have to set my concealer. Now this dries down very well. I have not not tried setting it just because I feel like I'll crease even more. So if you're one of those people that could get away with not setting this, I mean it's dry right now. So and then maybe you know you would like this paired with the lip oil but personally again guys I just can't do it with that but it's not that I hate it or anything I just don't like it with the face oil next two products are blush and highlight this one is the Kosas Helios color light and cream now I love 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 the blush in here I don't really care for the highlighter I don't know why just on me, I don't love it. I feel like it emphasizes, let me take this off. I feel like it emphasized my pores and it just wasn't, I don't know, glowy enough for me, I guess. I didn't really feel like I got even like a, you know, bare glow. You know what I mean? Like barely there, that kind of lit from within glow. I just wasn't a fan of the color, I guess. Maybe if it would have been a little bit lighter, I probably would have loved it. The cream blush is amazing. It is just so creamy and smooth. And I mean, you can build this up, you can sheer it out. It's just very easy to work with and you don't have to use, you know, your uh, any tools like a brush or a sponge. You could just use your fingers and it just blends out to like a sheer wash of color. You can layer it and build it up if you want more intensity. So yeah, it's just beautiful. I mean, it's a nice, like kind of peachy corally color and y'all know I'm all about that I do enjoy the packaging there is a mirror on the inside of this the one thing I will say about Kosas is that their packaging is very sleek and just kind of you know what I mean it's not like loud and gaudy it's just very simple and elegant and I think it's really pretty so the next product is another one of their um what are these called color and light yeah color and light sorry guys and this is Longitude Zero. Again, same packaging, you do get a mirror, you get a blush and a highlight. Now, this one I do like. I don't love the blush color on me personally, but I do like it to where I will wear it when I'm wearing a lot of pink and things like that. It's just usually not a typical color that I would gravitate towards. Um, I like the highlighter. I just don't love it and it's not the formula or anything like that it's the color personally now like I said if I'm you know rocking an all pink eye look I'm all for this kind of thing but generally I'm not it's kind of like a special makeup day if I'm rocking that um, but yeah the formulas are really nice um, they are a little powdery I will say that Let me grab a brush here and kind of show you guys now I'm just tapping tap 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 so I was surprised by how powdery it was. I'm hoping that the camera's picking that up for you. Um, but it's not a bad product. The formulas are really nice. Everything is really creamy and it's very long lasting on the skin and it's pigmented. So, I mean, and I'm just pressing that into my wrist. You guys see the blush there? They're very, very nice once they're applied to the skin. You can build it up, sheer it out. So. I'm just, again, not a big fan of the lighter kind of pink highlighter. I don't know. 
know what I didn't like about it. It's hard to explain. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm going to leave all the information for these products down in the description box so that you can click on them and check them out. Um, I know that I didn't give you guys a ton of information about like formulas and things like that as far as like you know with the longitude zero this is the powder compact that i just showed you guys it says it's an iconic pink rose duo for a modern romantic flush i know i didn't do that um there's a lot of yard work going on out in my yard right now nick is hard at work and there's a lot of noise out there so um i just wanted to apply the makeup tell you guys how i felt about it and i hope that you enjoyed this type of video I want to thank you guys, as always, for taking time out of your busy days to come hang out with me. You guys have no idea how much it means to me. I know that things are rough right now with the quarantine. I hope everybody's staying safe and sane. Trust me, I know it's hard. Um, Nick and I finally, finally got out of the house together yesterday and went for a drive. And it was just so much needed. We have been staying home unless, like, he's going to work because he's an essential worker or I'm going to get groceries or go to the doctor or other than that, I'm home. I literally go straight there and straight back and I, I know how hard it is. Um, you know, we're human, we're meant to socialize and go do things and it's rough you guys. So just the sheer thought that you're like hanging out with me and watching YouTube videos, it means a lot because views have been really down for a lot of people lately and it's been rough. It has been rough, so I just want to tell you guys thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You have no idea how much it means to myself or the other YouTubers that you're watching right now. So, all right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this different kind of video. Stay tuned for the next one. You guys know I am the affordable makeup queen here, <laughs> as some of you call me. So, I will definitely have some more affordable videos coming for you guys, as well as some high-end so just stay tuned. If you are new here, what is up? My name is Tosh. I hope that before you leave today, you will hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so that you're notified each time I upload. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to hit that like button. It literally takes one second before you X out of the video and it really, really, really helps me out a lot. It's gonna show YouTube that you're enjoying my content, thus recommending my videos in other people's news feeds. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you, bye.